Hey there, everybody in radio has an opinion. Ham operators say ham radio is the only real radio. GMRS folks say it's easier, friendlier, and actually used. And CV operators are saying, we've been here the whole time. But in 2026, with repeaters going quiet, emergency managers skeptical, and new users asking, why is nobody talking? It's time to ask an uncomfortable question. Which radio actually works in real life? Not theory, not nostalgia, reality. Let's talk about it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Hamshack TV. I'm your host, Josh, AA4WX. Hope you're having a great day out there. Appreciate you tuning in. Hey, do me a favor. Make sure you go down to the bottom there and hit that like and subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed here, we'd love to have you in the Hamshack TV family. Hit that subscribe button. Quick, free, easy. Doesn't cost you anything. And also hit the thumbs up button, the like button. That'll tell the YouTube algorithm to share out this video with as many people that can possibly watch it as possible they can. So please hit that like and subscribe button. Today's video is brought to you by Ham Radio Prep and World Radio League, proud sponsors of the 2026 second annual Ham Shack TV Ham Fest Tour, fueled by Ham Radio Prep and World Radio League. More on that later on. So this uh, this uh, video, it isn't a takedown of any service. It's an honest co comparison between Ham, GMRS, and CB based on how people are actually using them today. So the question is, which radio actually works? Ask yourself that. The problem is in the lack of technology. We have better radios than ever. Digital modes, repeaters, satellites. Yet people keep telling me the same thing. I got licensed and there's nobody to talk to. So what's going on? Why this matters? So this matters because new hams are frustrated. GMRS is growing super fast and CB refuses to disappear. Emergency communications credibility is under scrutiny. This isn't about what should work. It's about what actually does work. So let's talk about, let's talk about ham radio strengths. Start with that. Ham radio is still the most powerful civilian communication service on the planet. You get worldwide reach, HF when everything else fails, digital modes, emergency capability, experimentation freedom. On paper, ham radio wins. But what are the problems with ham radio? The problems... The hard part is that there's a lot of new operators that experience silent repeaters, nets that don't welcome ca casual conversation, heavy jargon, elitism. I've talked about elitism over and over and over on my channel. Sorry, my slide deck quit working. Let me uh, fix that really quickly here. And there we go. Elitism, whether it's intentional or not. Power means nothing if no one answers your call. But that's not a technology failure. That's a community failure. So let's talk about GMRS uh, for a second here. GMRS strengths. GMRS is exploding, and there's a reason for that. It's simple licensing, folks. You, ha you get a FRN number from the FCC, Apply for your ha or your uh, GMRS license, thirty-five dollars. Boom, you're licensed. Congratulations! It's super simple. There's no test. It's a very low barrier a barrier to enter. That license that you get from the FCC for GMRS that covers your entire family. So your family that's within your household can use GMRS. I have no idea why my screen share keeps dying. Sorry about that, folks. This is a little bit of a new uh, new tool I'm using here. Let me see if I can fix this once again. We may have to keep coming back to it, so so bear with me, folks. And it dropped again. Interesting. 
Very, very interesting. I, technology sometimes. What can you do? What can you do? So there we are. We're back again. Uh, that license does cover your entire family, and local repeaters are busy. Conversations are casual and social. GMRS feels alive. And for a lot of people, that matters more than theoretical range. Now let's talk about the limitations the limitations of GMRS. GMRS does have its limits. You don't have any HF. It's local only to an extent. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. And there's minimal experimentation capability. It's not built for large scale disasters either. GMRS isn't replacing ham radio, but it's replacing the social role ham radio used to fill. And that should concern us. Now, when I was talking about local only, there is a little caveat to that. There are areas within this country that have linked repeater systems. Now, according to FCC rules, internet linking, so that's linking two repeaters or more together via the internet. That is illegal according to FCC rules. There are systems out there that are doing that, but the FCC isn't enforcing it yet. I'm not the FCC police, uh, but... Just be aware of that. However, RF linking is allowed, and that does happen across the country. So you do have air uh, ability to expand that range, but it's not guaranteed everywhere. Uh, moving on, uh, let's talk about the reality of CB. CB radio, Citizens Band Radio. It's never prepared or pretended to be sophisticated. You don't need a license in today's uh, culture. Highway, uh, high, it's all about highway culture too. It's truckers. When you think of CB radio, that's one of the first things you think of is truck drivers. And, and, and that's part of it. You're not going to have a sophisticated, well, you, I, I'm not going to say you're not going to, but let me be realistic with you. Most of the culture on CB radio is not intelligent. Uh, and, and, I, and do with that what you might in your mind, but. Uh, CB is not typically intelligent conversation. Honestly, there's a lot of just noise, a lot of noise. I'm not saying there's zero intelligent conversation, but there's limited, uh, limited intelligent conversation. Uh, the benefit though, is you do get instant access and there's no real gatekeeping. CB radio survives because it's easily, it's easy. And because people do actually use it. Now let's talk about the limitations of CB. CB is uh, CB is short range. There is very heavy interference, very heavy heavy interference. CB lives in the twenty seven hundred megahertz uh, band space, and there's a lot of noise. A lot of that is man made. A lot of it is man made, um, and that could be from a number of things: people keying up, playing games. Just keying, uh, just making noise, things like that. There is very little formal emergency coordination. Uh, if you do have an emergency and you have a CB, the advice is to go to Channel Nine. Will somebody be monitoring over there? You never know. You never know. There's very little formal emergency coordination. CB works for best for mobility and culture, but not structured response. But don't mistake simple for dead. Let's talk about the real world. What is the real world, real world verdict? And my honest breakdown. Preppers and grid down folks, ham radio wins. If you practice families and neighborhood, or if you, pra I, I misspoke here with my notes, folks. Preppers and grid down folks, ham radio wins if you practice. If you practice. Families and neighborhoods. GMRS is probably your winner. If you're driving or mobile, CB still kind of wins, but I, I have to make that argument that a lot of people have mobile ham radios. So I, I will tell you this, Simplex will go a heck of a lot further than, uh, than CB will. So it's a toss up on mobile, uh, but we'll give just to, for fairness, we'll give the win to CB on that one. Casual conversation, GMRS, uh, G, for casual conversation, GMRS over CB over ham. 
again, casual conversation, you just having your everyday QSO, GMRS, then CB, then ham. The last, uh, the last one should sting a little bit. We'll go to slide 11 here. Talking about the real issues. This isn't about what radio is best. It's about participation, attitude, accessibility. Radios don't fail. Communities do. Let's talk about the final takeaways here. We just said that. There is no single winner. The right radio depends on your goal, there are people, and your willingness to transmit. But here's a truth that nobody likes to say. If you're not on the air, you're part of the silence. You've got to key the mic. I understand Mike Friday is a real thing. Totally understand that. But my good friend Jason over at Ham Radio 2.0 has a challenge to everybody. And, and, and I'll extend this challenge to GMRS and CB users too. Key that radio at least once a day. Throw your call sign out there if you're a CB or hammer, or excuse me, if you're a ham or a GMRS user. Throw that call sign out there. If you're a CB or throw out breaker one nine or breaker one zero or something like that. Try to key up a conversation. It won't, it, it, these, these hobbies and these services, they will die if they're not used. They will die. So let's talk about it. It's your turn. Folks, I want you to jump down in the comments and tell me, what do you actually use and why do you use it? And does anyone answer you? Drop a comment down below. Send me an email, josh at aa4wx.com. You see that on your screen right up there. And uh, hit like if, uh, if this has challenged your, your thinking. Uh, subscribe if you want honest radio conversations, not nostalgia. And uh, we appreciate that. And <clears throat> let me add to this, too. Uh, we talked earlier, uh, folks, we're getting ready to go on the, the second ride of the Ham Shack TV Ham Fest Tour, which, again, is fueled by Ham Radio Prep and World Radio League. Folks, if you would like to get your Ham Radio license or maybe upgrade the Ham Radio license, Ham Radio Prep is the way to go. Uh, they offer the technician, the general class, and the extra class license courses, and they're so confident they'll help you pass your exam on the first attempt. They offer a money-back guarantee. See website for details, hamradioprep.com. And if you use coupon code HAMSHACKTV, you get 10% off. They're already great prices. Go see them, hamradioprep.com. We appreciate them. Also, maybe you're already into ham radio. That's fine. Go check out my friends at World Radio League. They're a the, the great partner company, uh, sister company of Ham Radio Prep. Love World Radio League because they send me they send me all kinds of cool stuff. I've got a coffee mug back there. I've got a a shirt recently for Christmas, but it's a real cool sticker. I really like that. It teaches you Morse code. World Radio League is the future of ham radio. They've got great logging software with cat control and different integrations. They integrate with QRZ and N1MM and WSJTX. Folks, you're not going to go regret it. You can get on to uh, World Radio League free. There's a free membership. It's as simple as that, but there are some great paid features uh, with the higher tiers of memberships, and folks, it's not expensive at all. If you use coupon code HAMSHACK TV, you get 10% off there as well. So go check out WorldRadioLeague.com. Folks, I've been slacking a little bit recently in my video uploads, and I, I do apologize for that. Just trying to get a little reset as we get ready to dive in for the uh, uh, the, the, the 2026 uh, tour and different videos and things like that. Guys, I can't thank you enough for your support. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. 73, everybody. AA4WX, WSCB 693.